Hi, I'm Patty Fernandez, and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a jack-o'-lantern. You're going to take two fingers in the center and underneath draw me a dot. From that dot I'm going to draw a straight line through it. Come back to the left, slightly curved line down on the left, slightly curved line down on the right. I go back to the left and I go wavy, 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 wavy line. Connect. I come right to this section on the left and I draw a curved line out down and over. On the left, I come back on the right, I draw a curved line out, down, over, connect. On the left hand side, I draw one triangle. On the right side, I draw another triangle. Inside, I draw one, two curved lines. On the left, and one two curved lines on the right. I come back to the left triangle and I go one, two, three straight lines. And on the right triangle, one, two, three straight lines. In the center, I draw another triangle. I come down to the left hand side and I go curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. And now I go back to the left and I mimic my curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Inside I draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. I come back to the top and I'm going to draw straight line curves. Make sure you don't draw through your drawing. Keep going and one more. Okay, now we are ready to color. For this project I'm going to use a combination of marker and crayon. But I really want my eyes to pop so I'm going to do this section on the right and this section on the left using a yellow marker. And most importantly, I'm going to use my black marker to color the inside of my mouth. Now, you've got to watch the kids when they have markers to make sure that they don't keep going back and forth, back and forth around on the same spot and end up soaking their paper with watercolor ink and making a hole. So that's a skill that you need to teach. So I'm going to fill that section in, I'm going to fill in my nose, and I'm going to fill in this last section of my eyes with black marker. Then I switch over to crayon, and I use green on my stem, I use orange on my pumpkin, and then just to add another bit of color, once I've done my pumpkin, I come back in with red orange and wherever I have a pumpkin line I put another line of red orange just to make it pop. Okay let's look what the finished one looks like. Here's my jack-o'-lantern all colored in. He looks great if you cut him out and put him on a paper bag for a trick-or-treat bag. He also looks great if you cut him out and mount him on some heavier paper and make a centerpiece. And he just looks fabulous the way he is. Okay, bye bye. <laughs>